Hello guys and welcome to the same workshop. My name is Fala Sukumbi. I got this question several times. Like I feel like many people are facing this same problem. I face this problem as well. Like it's crazy. The rumbling on the shoulder when you make a senator. So I've decided to make a video that that points out that particular part when doing the cutting. The problem is basically from the cutting aspect. So I decided to make this video so that it can be like a guideline for you and I am 100% sure that this video is going to solve your problem from the cutting aspect of the sh of the of the arm hole straight to the cutting of the sleeve itself so I hope this video will help you if you're having the same problem I'm going to show I'm going to post a picture here that actually shows the exact problem I'm talking about and if you want to get a better result I'm going to post a picture here that's going to make your your, your traditional your senator outfit look a, a much like this if you try to follow the video so that's about it and let's get straight into the tutorial hello guys so welcome so here i have the i already cut out this thing in order to avoid those rumbling on the arm all around here i will show you what i usually do this is the two this is the back and this is the front if you have seen my video before this is how i used to cut either my senator or my shirt i double cut i don't cut separately so here this your shoulder slant actually matter a lot if you're swimming for an outdoor like 20 upward 20 25 30 40 make sure you're slanting your shoulder at least by 30 a minimum of 2.5 inch or if you're swimming for maybe a teenager you can go for like 2 inch 2.5 depending on how broad their shoulder is but here i'll be stunting them by 3 inch this actually play a major major role in the rumbling of your shoulder so after i will cut it after i slant the 3 inch you can see that and sometimes i can go like 2.5 but on this one i will slant 3 inch if you're sewing the next outfit you'll be making try and use 30 inch for your shoulder slant you can see that so after i'm going to draw this to the back so i'm going to review my overlap on the shoulder you can see that so now i'm going to overlap it going to overlap by just one inch and see so I'm going to cut the arm hole so you can know a little bit trick that I used to do in that one as well in order to get a very very clean clean arm you can see that so to cut your arm hole you're going to take your shoulder measurement my shoulder is 20 so i'm going to add an extra half inch to that just place your shoulder that's your shoulder divided by two and here on the arm o that's your shoulder divided by two minus one so here i have 10 inch and here that will be my shoulder divided by two my shoulder is 20 divided by two which is 10 and i'm going to minus one inch from that which will give me nine that's how i used to get my shoulder so now after you cut out your you cuff out your shoulder here you can use you can use your arm o cuff or you can use your just free hand cutting so here this is what we have do you see that on your arm o? so i'm going to cut it i want you guys to pay attention to this place when i cut it see that after I cut my arm O I'm going to deepen this side a little bit maybe like half of an inch half of an inch so I'm going to cut this half of an inch you can see that so here I'm going to only cut out the front part so I can open this up cut out the front part Can you see that 
so you i believe you can see that so i already cut out the front part you see this one is deep deeper than this so the next thing i'll be doing so this is all about when you're cutting the borders the borders part so when you're cutting the sleeve as well so here is my sleeve and this is two as normal the normal way you're going to fold your sleeve i have two sleeve right here you can see so i'm going to fix it like this so here your sleeve has to be dipping at least a minimum of five inch five inch or let me just go six inch you can see so this where we are going to do you see that a minimum of six minimum of five inch it has to be deep a minimum of five inch so here I can cut and pull my sleeve you see that and here you're going to measure your arm circumference my arm circumference is 14 so I'm going to add one inch to that I'm going to so I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to do now as well our sleeve and here as well I'm going to cut in half of an inch you can see that so I'm going to cut this one also see that so this is our basic sleeve pattern as simple as that this one is deep and this one is a little bit outside I will explain why this is for you so when you measure your arm O make sure it's actually fitting your arm circumference so you can just measure it straight and you have 12 here as your arm O circumference so when you try this out it's going to give you a perfect arm o without any rumbling on your arm o part so it's as simple as that so try it and comment below if it works for you also just a note don't forget this this short part will be the one in the front let me take in this yes on your borders when you're joining it this front this short part will be the one on the on the show on the front this will be the front while this one will be the back so automatically when we cut this in two definitely one will be left and one will be right so when you open this and you're about to fix your let me open it together you can see what it looks like and when you're fixing you can see this one will definitely fall to the you can see that this one will definitely fall to the to the to the left why this one will definitely fall to the right that's why we cut them together you can see that so it's quite simple i hope it helps you guys and that is about it enjoy the video and enjoy yourself